Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee. <laughs> We're going to start out um, with a, I think it's episode 10. It might be 11. It's either 10 or 11 of the Society of Idea Collectors. So I have a couple things to do today with it. And so we're going to do holidays. We're going to talk about holidays. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be fun. Hey, Scoobs. Anybody else popping in? Thanks, everybody, for being here on our Monday morning. Yes, please do, Leah. Keep practicing. Okay, so first off, I want to tell y'all to go watch. Remember I told y'all about the Mary Altia a couple weeks ago. And I'm sure I'm not going to pronounce this right, but go look at the YouTube, and I'll put the link in the description box uh, when I upload the video. Dingley Delification. <laughs> go and look at her society idea. Well, look at everything she does on YouTube, but she does journaling, planning, and she's doing the society idea collecting, and... And like Mary, because she's doing it and doing it herself, she is seeing the benefit of doing it. So, I, like I said, I'll put a link in there uh, in the description box so y'all can go um, peruse the awesomeness. <laughs> it's, she's really, it, she, she says she's really learned so much. And, and like Mary, they, they take it and, and make it their own, which is what you want to do. So, oh, you have a winter storm or we have, we have just rain from the, you know, the leftover of the tropical depression coming up. And so it's raining all around Atlanta. So that's all we got right now. She is funny, isn't she? Dingley Delification, I think is how you say it. She does have a good sense of humor, doesn't she, Lindsay? Yeah. You like Dingley too, <laughs> Pacola? I know. So, I'll, like I said, I'll put a link. So, I just want it because I watched, um, I try to keep up with, you know, when people are doing uh, the society. I try to, and, and they do a lot of work. <clears throat> I try to let y'all know about them. And also, I don't have her address. I need to get her address so I can send her a little something, something. Because she's working so hard at hers. So, all right, so what we're going to do today, and I saved a spot back here, let's see, so I think it's, because that was week nine with the photo, that was week eight, this is week, so I'm thinking it has to be week ten, no, yeah, okay, so this is what I made my notes on, okay, so what we're going to do, first off, I use my new little pad, my little list pad here, I have holidays all written down in my big idea collecting book, but I wanted to use my little coffee list sleep repeat book that I got at Staples. So um, I made another list, and I didn't get them all. Y'all can help me fill, finish filling it out. Um, and we're going to do Halloween because that's the holiday that we're, you know, in. But so I'll just tell you what I got. I just wrote down some holidays. And you can do this with any holiday. You can do this. Let's just say you don't like Halloween. You don't do Halloween. Well, you can still you can still mind map out Halloween and and write down what you don't like about it. Okay, so it's it's all good because you're going to learn something every time you do this. Okay, so I just wrote down the ones that just came to my mind real quick, right? Because I knew I was going to do Halloween, but I wanted y'all to do your own list of holidays. And you can also add special days. Like I didn't write down birthday, but you could put birthday on the list because it's a special day. So like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Easter, Hanukkah, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, St. Patrick's, Veterans Day, Columbus Day, which is today, Memorial Day, Martin Luther King Day, July 4th, Independence Day. So I just started the list there. And, um, you, you know, whatever special days you have or, or, or holidays or event days. I mean, you could do, you know, graduation. You could do, you can do anything, any special day. And just keep your own list of that. Like I said, I have another list in my Big Idea Collector. I just wrote down these because this is what we're going to do today. So, I started with Halloween. Okay, <laughs> and I also pulled out a couple other things here to, 
work on and I think I'm going to work on the scroll but I'm not going to do it huge I don't think because I don't want to have to move the camera and all that hey Julie Topaz and um so what I did is I just started with Halloween and then just kind of wrote out the things that you think of when you think of Halloween. This was like all this was 30 seconds. OK, this is just like 30 seconds worth of stuff. So <laughs> it's not let me get my big marker because this shows up. I don't normally write with Sharpies myself, but to have everything show up on camera, you know, I write everything in um, in Sharpie for you guys. So if you have any questions, put them in caps. So, um, oh, th is that, her, is that uh, her link, Terry? Thank you. And I'll put it in the description box as well. So, Halloween. So, these are things that just came to me while I was, you know, you got costumes. Then from costumes, you can go out like Vampire, Mummy, Frankenstein, Frankenstein Bride. You can make a whole list of costumes if you want. I just wrote out costumes, pumpkins, dark and scary, black cat and a witch, Haunted House, Graveyard, and then from there I went to Day of the Dead, Ghost, Bats. So those are just some things that you associate with Halloween. So if you all have some more you want to add, feel free to tell me. And then what we, what you do is you can, you can quest, you can add your questions. Who, what, where, why, when, how. And Mary, let's see what they were. She added two more questions. Uh, why not? She asked, why not? And what was the other one? She had another one, too. And uh, coffin. Yeah, I got graveyard. So from there, you could do a coffin with the graveyard. Yeah, I got haunted house. I got haunted house. Y'all let me know. Skeleton. That's a good one. Skelly. Okay. So there's a couple, you know, I've shown you a few different ways to do mind mapping. You can ask the questions, depending if you want to think about it, explore Halloween, think about Halloween, the history of Halloween, what it means. So you can do all that too. Or you can just take some things off the list, combine them and make a story, some art, some sketches, some ideas, which is what we're going to do. We're not going to explore Halloween today. And by explore, I mean ask all the questions. Spider web. Yeah, did I say no? It's a spider. Okay, I didn't say spider and web. So let's put down spider and web. And from there you can go to uh, <laughs> Whoa, Suzanne. <laughs> right, Terry? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry, Terry. You're having to refresh. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got black cat and witch. So anyway. Again, you can make your own list of holidays. You can start with a holiday, everything that comes to your mind when you think of that holiday. And then you can ask, like, on costumes. You know, where? why did we start dressing up in costumes? When did that start? Was it like 1890-something, I think, or something like that? I don't remember. But anyway, dressing up, trick-or-treating. Did I write down trick-or-treating? No, I didn't write down trick-or-treating. Okay, trick or treat. And that can go kind of with the costumes, too. Um, <clears throat> I know, Terry, this is, oh, Suzanne, yeah, candy. All right, so from trick or treat, see, I would branch out to that, to candy. And then from there, you could even branch out to what types of candy, you know. So you can make this very elaborate. That's why I don't write big when I'm making my own mind maps, because you fill up a page of, in, in seconds. Yeah, I got Graveyard, Day of the Dead, Coffin, yeah, Tombstones, yeah, you could put that on there. But anyway, so what I want to do from this is combine some things and do some drawings and sketches and see some funny things we can come up with. Just for play, just for fun. But this is a way for you to explore the holidays. Again, you're going to want to ask all the questions with this. Like who, what, where, why, when, how, and why not? Um, for each of the topics here, for each one, you can ask all those questions. Okay, you can ask the six or seven questions 
for each one of these if you really want to explore Halloween or any of your holidays. Like, you, you know, like here's Mother's Day and Father's Day. Does anybody know the day why Father's Day and Mother's Day came? Why did we uh, start celebrating that? What president enacted that as a holiday? You know, I'm not a holiday, but a, a thing. Uh, same for Valentine's Day. You know, do you, do you, I mean, and I used to know more of these dates and stuff back, you know, I haven't really thought about them lately. But if you want to do this, you're going to really explore and, and think. And again, it's just like, you know, the girls that have been mind mapping and, and, and questioning things. You don't get it till you do it, you know. Yeah, All Souls Day. Yeah, I put uh, Day of the Dead, Day of the Dead Day. And, well, Halloween and all. Yeah, uh, All Souls Day. Yeah, Werewolf. See, that could go over here under costumes. I have Vampire Mummy, Frankenstein, Werewolf. So, anyway, you all get the idea. Okay, so do your holidays, your special days, event days, whatever, and then pick, you know, oh, I think that was Hubster that just called. Okay, hang on. Okay, so he said they're not coming till next. He's just texted me. Hang on, let me answer him. So they're not coming till next Monday. Okay. All right, so I saw his message pop up, so I wanted to answer. <clears throat> yeah, whatever whatever um, it's meaningful to you or that just comes to your mind. It doesn't even have to mean anything to you. Just what comes to your mind. So, But you got to do it to get it, I'm telling you. Then I wrote down a few colors, orange, black, purple, like lime green. Those are the colors that I, at least I like to use. When, uh, oh, good grief. He goes, where's my X and O? Hang on. <laughs> I want to give him some kisses here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, so. So now what I want to do, I'm going to keep this in here. And, uh. I think it's week 10. All right, so now I want to go off of another list. Oh, well, let me show you this first. This is from last year. These are a couple things we did last year that I pulled out when we went through the uh, scroll and I cut the scroll up. And this was, we did a portfolio flip through a while back. And I pulled these out because um, uh, Halloween was coming up. So here is our, we started out with just a giraffe. And then we turned it into Frankenstein. But he looks, or well, Frankenstein's monster. But he really kind of looks like Mo. <laughs> Hang on, let me fix the color. It's really bad here. Let's see. What happened here? Hang on, guys. Let's, uh. <laughs> you got a, whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong, wrong button. Hang on. Wrong button. I want it brighter, but I want the. Maybe that's okay. It's it's a it's a dark day today. It's hard to get the light. Okay, so anyway, we did this one last year, and so it was just a giraffe at first. But I pulled him out and we turned him into we turned him into Frankenstein. <laughs> hey Jen. And so yeah, so we put little scars and bolts and electricity. But anyway, like I said, because of the hair, it made it look like Mo of the Three Stooges. <laughs> I used to be able to do the curly shuffle. I haven't done the curly shuffle. Y'all know what the curly shuffle is? Have y'all ever seen the curly shuffle? <laughs> Just look it up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so then the other one I pulled out here, or this gin reading with pugs is our Count Pugula. So again, we got lots of glittery, glittery blood things going on. We got, and that's with stickles. We got stickles. I'm trying to capture the glitter, but there we go in his eyes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so again, he was just a pug and we made him into Dracula. <laughs> It's Count Pugula. 
this is one we did last year. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this is the kind of thing that I kind of want to do today. I want to combine our Halloween, some of the items that we have. <laughs> it was fun to watch, Eileen. And uh, see what we can just do some sketches. All right, so there's that as some inspiration. And then also, um, I was doodling over here in the big sketchbook. This is the big Mama Jamba one. <clears throat> And uh, I've got a list of ideas, and I did number them. Here's more here. So I did number them so we can just pick some random numbers to go with our Halloween. But where is my little um, turtles here? This is something like I want to do. Here it is. Over here. This, is, this book is like 11 and a half by 12 and a half, something like that. It's big. And it's plays a ton. That's why I like to do tip-ins. So if I sketch something on another uh, sketchbook, I can tip, just, you know, tape it in. Um, the only time I really work on this book, in the book, is like my Inktober's. I'm working on that because it's at my desk with ink and a brush, you know, so it's flat and everything. But if I'm working sketches on my lap, like I did these two here, they're from out of another sketchbook because this book does not rest well on your lap. <laughs> uh, well, we did kind of do a, a flamingo back here, but we made it green because Eileen, you know. So, yeah, here's our, you could call this our uh, our flamingo in costume. It's in a mermaid costume. <laughs> it's our flamingo in a mermaid costume. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so here. <clears throat> so... Here were some of my combinations. The turtle and the pumpkin and a bat. And these are just little, you know, quick little <laughs> sketches. Hey, May. Quick little sketches of um, cause combining some things. So we took Halloween, a turtle, and a pumpkin, and a bat. And look, and, and he's got little things, too. <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to at least draw him on on bigger, you know, paint him with on the on the scroll. And uh, <laughs> I know that's what, what I want to do here. We're gonna try to do a little something with that. And then what we'll do is um, we'll combine some other things, you know, from here. Um, we can pick two or three things from here, and then I can go off my list and pick some random things to go with. We'll see. So anyway, um, <laughs> so let me just kind of set this to the side for a minute and get my, and my, whoops, come back here, heat gun. My scroll is just a roll of shipping paper, right? Well, I should say scrolls. We've been, we've worked in these for a few years and I did cut them down because it's just so unwieldy to try to work on the scroll. And so like the pug and the giraffe, I just cut them out. So, <laughs> but anyway, and then what I'll do here is I'll, I'll, I'll have it hang down on my feet. I'll just let those scroll unroll at my feet and just kind of pull it up like this. And where's my, uh, let me go ahead and put the lappy up under there like that. And um, let's see if I can, there's going to be a little bit of a shadow, but it'll be all right. And I'll put my book on this side. Because the weight of the scroll, the weight of the, the paper on the floor is going to pull on it. So I do have my little, uh, where's my Sarah, here. I also have my weight, Sarah O sent me these a couple years ago. And they're like calligraphy weights. They have like little uh, dips in them. And what the purpose of them is, is to weight your uh, calligraphy scroll paper down. And you can rest your calligraphy pen on the little and the little dips like that. So they're like for calligraphy. But even these aren't going to hold the, the weight of the scroll down by my feet. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Let me see. Do I want to? I should have brought the iPad in here. Let me go. Let me go get the iPad. Hang on, guys. Mm 
Okay. And look up maybe a turtle. Let me just, maybe a, you know, a box turtle, green turtle. As I want to do a turtle, we'll start with a turtle and a pumpkin. Now, I think I'm backed out as far as I can. Let me see. Yeah, I'm, my, I'm zoomed out. I'm zoomed back as far as I can with my camera where it is. I mean, I can always move the camera, but I think this will be good. Okay, so let's see. Let me put in turtles. Just find some, find some, uh, <laughs> you'll like that. Okay, so let's see. Turtles. And probably, <clears throat> do I want to look up just green turtles or, there's just some plain pictures here. Let's look at this one. Just to kind of get a, you know, what a turtle shell you know they got lots of different designs on them but we're going to do a pumpkin on his back so it doesn't really matter but <laughs> uh let's see what kind i really want a green one those like i think they're called box turtles it's not real helpful but maybe that one. Okay, let's see. Let me put it up here. Okay. All right, so we're going to sketch. <laughs> do, do we look okay color-wise? <clears throat> okay, so let me get a white pencil because we're on a... So what we usually start with, with... Uh, where's my sharpener? Where did my sharpener go? <laughs> Already got a full desk. Here it is. Look at, can you hear the... It sounds kind of like uh, thunder, doesn't it? My legs are up against the uh, those scroll down on the floor. Hey, Elk Lady. How you doing? Good to see you. Hello, Mac. Kimberly, I'm sure I'm missing some people. Okay, so we're going to have to listen to that. Okay, <laughs> so what I want to do is have, I'm trying to kind of look at the how much space I have here. Let's come down here. All right, so like the turtle's back. I want to have room for his wings, right? So we'll do this because it's, it's going to be a pumpkin on his back. And uh, I really need to look up bat wings. Hang on. Let me see what I... I mean, I know kind of what they look like. You know, like I put in the little sketch. <laughs> I want to look at it a little more detail. Let's put in bat wings. God, my iPad's slow. It's getting old. Don't tell Jean. She'll send me out to Apple Store. Then we're talking money. Right, Janet? Oh, Janet went out to take the cat, I think. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, let's see. Um, I want the some really creepy ones. <clears throat> oh, here we go. These will work. Those are some creepy ones. Okay, so let's look here. Because I want them to come out like this. And they, some of them have like a little hook on them up there. I don't know. Can y'all see? You probably won't be able to see much till I... Yeah, don't need any Apple products. I know. And then the, the one will be on the back side over here. So, you know, let's see. This is just fun, for fun, guys, you know. All right, so let's see. And then they can come down. Let's see. I want it to be kind of... I want one more. I want it bigger like that. Something like this, maybe. We'll, we'll even exaggerate it even more. 
Let me see about that knife. It's a little tricky today, guys, because I'm working with absolutely no sun today. This is going to be cool. <laughs> well, I don't know. We're going to pra practice. I mean, we're going to play. Okay, and then the other one will be right behind it, like, you know. This one will be in the front, and then that one will be in the back. Do I want this to be up and down like that? Probably. I'm going to put paint on it. This is just our sketch. All right, so now we're going to have... Do I want the pumpkin? No, I guess I don't want the pumpkin stem. Let's go back to my turtle. <clears throat> so I got his legs and stuff in there. Okay. All right. So let's kind of do him looking like facing a little this away. So like his head will be here. Don't want to get him too big because <clears throat> the pumpkin is really going to be exaggerated. Okay. Maybe he'll have a little smile on his face. <laughs> okay. Then his little paw. I mean his, his paw? <laughs> Do turtles have paws? And then we'll have, you know, scales and stuff on them, too. And then down here, then we'll his other, his other foot be right here. <laughs> if you have any questions, put them in caps. Otherwise, I'm going to be, you know, just messing with my turtle. <clears throat> just a sip of coffee. <laughs> So it's going to be like that because this he's he's going to be going to sharpen again. He's going to be a, his back is going to be a pumpkin. Yeah, claws, not paws. <laughs> Let's make him just a little bigger. Like that. And then like this. Something like that. Like a pumpkin, half pumpkin. <laughs> and then, let's see, he'll, you'll just probably just see, well, you might be able to see a, well, you probably see his tail over here. And then just probably just one leg here from under this shell. Little, little claws on him. Something like that. <laughs> this claw, I think, I mean, this this foot needs to come down. This needs to be a little bigger. Something like that. Okay. I'm just kind of making it up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's make him have a little bit more boxy head. Okay, so now I'm going to paint. <laughs> All right, so he's going to be green. That's going to be orange, and the wings will make purple. How about that? Okay. A couple trays. And we're also going to do a Society of Idea Collectors giveaway. So maybe we'll give away him. We'll see how it turns out. All right, let's see. Um, so I want to get some purple. Let's go with our dioxazine purple. And orange. Bright orange. Let's see, where's my orange? Jack-o'-lantern orange. Hey, Daisy, Vicky. Anybody else I'm missing? And some green. Of course, we're going to go shade and pencil and all kinds of stuff. 
let's start with um, well, we'll do a couple shades of green here we'll do our lime green and probably just where's my grass darker green. Let's see. What other green do I want? An olive green, maybe? I love my olive greens. But, I think I'm going to go with dark green. Yeah, we'll go with hunter green. Hunter green and citron. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> okay, this one hasn't been opened. Do I have one that's already? No, I guess I don't. Let me go ahead and get a knife to open it. Take the plastic off. All right. And then we'll probably need black and white. Okay. A brush. Find a brush. A brush. So let's let's block them in. We're gonna block them in first. <laughs> okay. Don't see any more questions. Okay. So let's go ahead and just start with a, a lime green. Well, let's mix a little bit of the lime and the green. Let's just make it a little darker. So this is how you play. This is how you get ideas. And we're going to I was going to do another creature or something combining some other things, odd things um, that we haven't combined yet. I already had these picked out. The uh, turtle, the pumpkin and the bat. So I'm just painting right over the pencil. And then his little foot here and little claws will be there. We'll do dark green underneath. So again, this is all just to show you how to do some idea collecting and playing and uh, sketching out some of your ideas. I know it's a little bright on this side, but okay. I'll get the dark green. So y'all can at least be making your list of your holidays or your what comes to your mind when you think of Halloween. <clears throat> and then I don't know if I want, because I did two different versions in my sketch of um, the shell. You can either make it look like an actual pumpkin or like I did here, I did it like like a turtle shell with just orange. But I think I'm going to go with this kind of look. And he'll have some little fangs. <laughs> I have to get out some black paint too. Here, let me get another tray for black. A bur a Bertelkin? <laughs> they make up all kinds of names for him. Okay, let me clean my brush here. Okay. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and do the orange. I probably should put a little white in because this orange is translucent and it's probably not going to show up very well. Let's put, let's put a little bit of white in there just to make it a little more opaque. Oops, don't be careful not to drag that green in there. <clears throat> We can always, we'll go over it with an, another coat of orange, pure orange, on top of this because this will give it some uh, opaqueness. I think I'll just do one little section at a time to keep them, keep them separate, like, because I'll have shadows in between. This is like your snorkeling parrot. <laughs> See? You know, there's so many ideas. You just got to be able to play. You got to play. Not be afraid to play, you know? Get your magazine journals out or a piece of uh, craft roll. You know, this is just, uh, what do you call it, uh, shipping paper. And maybe I'll draw a couple smaller ones or something for the, you know, throw in a couple zines or something. I'll do a giveaway for the Society Idea Collectors because that's everybody that's in the societies in the bowl. <clears throat> that's giving me their address, that is. So, dig out, in the, out of the bowl and give a couple batty turtles away <laughs> or something. I could maybe, I could turn them into stickers. That might, if I have time. You know, I'll just take a picture of it and turn them into, and put them on sticker paper and cut them out. That'd be kind of fun. Have these as stickers. All right, let's see. The bat wing, that goes right there. Don't you think? Wouldn't these be cute Halloween stickers? Yeah, I know there's a new ISO. Uh, yeah, I know there's a new update. I'll be doing that after everybody else does and all the bugs are worked out. <laughs> I'm not the first one to do those things. Uh, I don't even like it when they mess with my Twitter. So. I'm just going to a little bit of. That wasn't quite dry down there. Make some something. I mean, I don't know what I'll put in there. I, I just put a little envelope of stuff. That's nothing major, you know, a zine or a file folder insert or something like that. Just for those that are in the society that are working on things. And again, don't forget to um, peruse the awesomeness that I talked about earlier of Ding, how do you say it again? Her YouTube channel. Dingley Delification. And I'll, I'll put the link in there. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a first coat. It needs more it needs more orange on it, but I gotta dry this first. Alright, so let me, let me dry this. go back over it with just whoops let me get a, let me get a baby wipe keep my hands clean remember the papers rolled up under my feet so my legs are bumping it okay let's go with the 
bright orange now on top see now that there's white in the orange that makes it more opaque now I can go on top of it with the bright orange and it'll show up as bright orange yes yes it will <laughs> hey dark and lady it's been a while since seeing you welcome back <clears throat> got white in my brush there we're just playing with some Halloween ideas I'll let y'all pick numbers for me on the next one and we'll do something else after this one Hubster went and saw Blade Runner on Saturday. He liked it, but he loved the first one, and he liked it. I mean, I don't know that, you know, I don't. Know, I can't say that he absolutely loved loved it. I'll I'll probably watch it when it comes out on um, DVD because the the volume the loudness of the theater. I can't take it. I mean, I will take it with. Uh, some earbuds and uh, Star Trek. <laughs> okay, so there we go. There's his um, base coat for that. Now let's go to the purple and do his um, bat wings. So let's see. Walk them in. <laughs> well, you gotta go for it, you know. I mean, what's the here's the what's the worst thing that can happen? That it turns out it doesn't work out. It look, doesn't look good. But the but look at the ideas that you get with just by playing and practice playing with it. You know, well, <laughs> that's the worst that can happen is you get some ideas. I'll leave a little space. I'm going to highlight it so that they're separate. I don't want to lose my little veins there. Hi, Teresa, Ray. Anybody else coming in? Thanks for being here, guys. He told me the whole thing, which is good because when we watch movies together, I'm I'm a talker with him, or any, I guess with anybody. What you know, I I'm questioning everything. And while he was even while he was telling me about it, I won't say anything because you know people haven't seen it yet. But even while he was talking to me, I said so so and so is so and so right, and so and so that happened to so and so right. <laughs> I'm like guessing ahead. <laughs> I was like in um. Uh, what was that Bruce Willis movie? I see dead people. Um, the not the sign. What was it called? Like one minute into the movie, one minute, like like he was talking to the little boy or whatever it was. Like just a couple minutes into the movie, I went, Bruce Willis is dead, and he went, No, he's not. I went, Yeah, the little kid seeing Bruce Willis, he's dead. It was like so obvious to me. <laughs> but anyway. Um Oh uh yeah, I have to go look at those. Somebody who who was it that said that? Or maybe I saw him, Connie. Maybe I saw him. The Halloween subject reminds me Japanese drummer who cosplayed Mad Hatter last year. I don't know who that is. Japanese drummer. The only real cosplayer I really know is Yaya Han. 
I don't know a lot of the cosplayers. I mean, I see them, and I don't just don't know their names and all. I'm not familiar with their, you know. But uh, Yaya lives in Atlanta. Um, yeah, I'm not going to give any spoilers. Not on a... But I don't know. I can't remember the name of the movie it was. Six Cents. Six Cents. Thanks, guys. Six Cents. Yeah. And 12 Monkeys, that other Bruce Willis one I really liked. I had that one figured out at the very beginning. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, while he was telling me about the new Blade Runner, I'm sitting there, you know, telling him, oh, this is so-and-so, and that's so-and-so. He's just looking at me like, I'm, I'm glad I didn't take you with me. <laughs> I know he's thinking that. <laughs> so he just went by himself. <laughs> But I'm always thinking about... I mean, I can't just sit back and enjoy a movie. I'm always, like, trying to figure it out. Analyzing it. Always. I can't not. I'm always analyzing it <laughs> while I'm watching it. You do that too, Ray? Yeah. Yeah. So this is our initial base blocking in the color I'm just using an angle brush because they're awesome for every angle <laughs> you can get you can get, um, I don't want to do it right there because I'm going to photograph him But if he turns out. But you can get flat, well, it's not very much paint on there, flat. You can get a, line, a thin line. And then with the tip, you can get, you know, even dots. So I, I just love me an angle brush. It took me watching the movie five years until someone said... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that's funny there that's funny right there girl okay let's see and let's do this back wing here let's point that one up right there. i'll get i'll get in there with pencil so i'll get the detail i just want to block it in this is the back wing i don't want a couple um uh, what are those things? See, yeah, that's why you got to do these questions. The uh, in the wings, I guess they're bones, right? Are they bones that are in in um? It's like a bird and a bat. They have those, you know, the little. I don't want to call them veins because they're not veins. They're like bones. Cartilage, just cartilage. Do I want this one to come out? Let's just go this way with it. See, something like that. The bones only go along the top of the wing. The rest is veins and tendons. Okay. They look so thick, though, to be just veins. You know, when you look at a bat wing, like I was just looking at bat wings, they look so much thicker than just a tendon. Okay, that's good. a little bit of shading with the paint and then we'll go back in there with pencil because I do I want little do I want like yeah I guess I do 
you know, like scales. Why not? <laughs> and then his little foot comes across there. And he's going to have like a little dark in between the toes. I'm not sure how many toes. We're going to give him three toes. Pi has more, but. They look thick because the wings are so thin. Yeah, Terry, good point. Just kind of getting where I'm going here, blocking in. And then let's see, let's do some scales on the top of his head. I'm not trying to do a turtle portrait here. <laughs> We've done those before, right? And he's going to have big teeth. So something like that. They have a fingernail at the end of the wings. Is it, yeah, it's on, is that on the top, right? Like at the tips? I tried to kind of capture that, but. All right, let me move my book, move my paper back up here. It's sliding down. All right. But how fun would this be with the kids? You know? Let's see. And we'll put a couple little things on his tail there. Probably a little shadow under here. The top tips, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's dry him. Let's dry him. What if and why not? Those were the two Mary Dale questions. Yeah. I knew the why not. The other was the what if. Yeah. I got to write that down. I thought I did. I probably did on a post-it note when I watched her video. But oh, let me write them down. Mary at, added two new questions that you can add. Let's see where are my big pen. What if and why not? so awesome i love seeing when people expand and make everything their own all right let me get another drink of coffee that's getting a little cold already And I also kind of organize a little bit of my collage stuff, even though most of it's still, well, I have it different things. I have my drawers. Again, I stopped doing by topic. I just have drawers of stuff. And then I have my big bin, and then I have my box. So I got a little bit organized this weekend. All right, so there we go. Now, just making sure it's a little bit more drying. See, I just smeared it right there. 
needs a little bit more drawing before I go in there with pencil because you can't go pencil on top of wet paint. Yeah, that would be a, this would be a scary creature to have in real life, wouldn't it? <laughs> like zombies. Oh my gosh, I saw a commercial. I don't remember what insurance. It was for some insurance company. And the guy's air conditioner broke down. And uh, he went to the insurance company and said, my air, my air conditioner, I need, uh, you know, do we have homeowner's insurance for that? She goes, no, you don't have uh, homeowners for that. You have a lot of catastrophic uh, insurance, though, for a lot of things. Um, tornado, zombie apocalypse. He went, zombie apocalypse? She goes, yeah, you're covered for a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see. Let me get some pencils. I still have to do my um, you um, Inktober too. Okay, let's see. Let's get a couple. Get a dark green and a green and maybe a lime green and a white. I have white right here. I'm sharpening all these. Um, a yellow, orange, a sienna, an orange. Where's orange? Orange. Where's my orange? Orange, a couple of purples. That's a, that's not quite dark. I need, need a need a lavender highlight. There we go. And probably a dark, dark purple. Let's see. Here. Okay. So we're gonna get some pencils here. We are going to have anything riding the turtle. No, nothing to ride. He's flying. He's flying today. All right, so let me get my dark green. And then I'll start doing some shadows. I might need some black, too. Might need some even darker sh shadows. But as soon as I finish this turtle, we're going to do, a, I'll do a couple of uh, Society of Idea Collector giveaways. I don't know if it'll be, I'll, if I turn him into stickers or what we'll do. I mean, I think he'd be a cute sticker. <laughs> so I'm just treating it like if it was kind of like a color book page. I've got the flat acrylic paint on there. So now I'll go in there and play with details. dark green and then in between is let's just kind of sketch out his little toes there <laughs> it would be an adorable sticker Okay, then his eye. Let's see what we can do here with his eye. It's what a turtle eye. It's kind of, it's kind of orange. We'll have him orange, an orange eye, and of course a black pupil, and then we'll have a white highlight. <laughs> can y'all see it? He looks pretty happy. Where's my white pasta? Oh. <laughs> now let's put. Um, Maybe we'll do a little bit more highlight around the eye. Let's put a little highlight on his tooth or his fangs. And then same thing for his, whoops, I need black. Let me sharpen it. Where's my sharpen? Where's my pencil? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Just download some files from your silhouette. They and they won't show in your library? Hmm. 
dot. I'm not sure. Could be many things. Are they... Did you put them in the right folder? See, I'm, my, my, my mind's not thinking of how the, the program works right now. I'd have to probably have my, my Cameo out and looking at the software to help you. I can't just envision the software program right now. dot sorry and I do really need to get it out I have those cool Frankensteins and some really cool um, Halloween things all right let me get rid of some of this pencil here my best just to shade it let's see here I had too many toes on this one Okay, sharpening. I don't know, Dot. Okay, I'm going to highlight his little claws here. I don't know if I have version 4. I don't know if I downloaded the new one. Because I don't probably didn't think I needed to if everything was fine with the other one. <laughs> so I don't know about version 4. Yeah, um, you can use gel pens, but gel pens can be a little iffy. I like Posca because it's paint and it'll go over everything. The gel pens can be a little, sometimes a little skippy, but trust me. Where's my? It's not like I don't have any. <laughs> I have them back from scrapbooking days. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a little more highlight on the claws here. Maybe a little bit more on his fangs, too. Just Google it um, or look on uh, their, their website. I mean, their uh, YouTube channel, Dot. I'm sure there's a, a solution. And there's a, yeah, there's a place for the gel pens. You can get pretty thin with these, though. All right, so let's see. Let's do a little shading on the turtle. There's his little. And I'll probably go around each one of the little scales to make it more scaly. <laughs> uh. So after we do this, I'm going to do a drawing from the bowl, and then we will do another creature, creature of the night. <laughs> Let's 
So he's got a little smile on his face. <laughs> Alright, let's go to my lime green now. Let's see. I could probably even use... I have, it's not really lime green. Is that, what color green is that? Mm, let me see if I want to use that green. Eh, no, I don't think I want to use that green. Because I want a lime. That's more minty. Minty green. Coles has their Christmas stuff out already, and your sister went crazy there yesterday. She bought everything new. And a sock monkey, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I'll go with white and then go back in there on top with the green. So I'm going to go ahead and go around every little scale. And he's not really, he's not too scale. <laughs> oh, his scales are not too scale. That's funny right there. Um, his scales are not to scale. <laughs> Sorry, I tickled myself with that one. But um, <laughs> I want him to really show. All right, I'm kind of out of camera there. I'll zoom in a little when we get a little done. So I'm just going to kind of go around each one. And then I'll go back over them with the lime green. Because I don't want them white. Maybe a little on top of the claws, too. Let's do a little extra highlight. Is the star time of today or usual? Yeah, it started at 9. Yeah. I mean, I come on, usually come on at like 8.30. I come on a little early. But I didn't start recording and working on this till 9. So... Yeah, I don't want that there. Is yeah, okay, good. Now, while that's kind of drying a little bit, I'm going to take my um, sienna and start shading in the pumpkin. There'll be a shadow I'm from the wing. I'm not putting a stem on the pumpkin, so. And I'm not overly thinking this, guys. I'm just kind of roughing it, you know. Because I don't want to be on this same thing all day. I want to do a couple other ones. Someone hacked a stem off. <laughs> Sharpen. Hey, Linda. And I still want to do a Jasmine Beckett Griffith color book page this month. We did do that dragon one. So I feel like we got to start. But I probably won't do, like last year, I think I did three jasmine halloween pictures ok 
Okay, let's go to the orange. Sharpen. <laughs> Kind of blend this in a little. When you pick a color to shadow with, how much darker? Um, couldn't find the right color to shadow your dragon yesterday. You mean a green? I think we did dark green. I don't really have a formula. <laughs> Sometimes I don't really know. I just pick. I probably, other than skin, in skin I use a lot of variations of color. But I stick with my usual tray here for basic colors. You know, I don't know. I can't really say an exact color. I mean, on the dragon, I think we just use dark green. I like high contrast. So I like real light and real dark all in the same thing because that makes it look better if you have high contrast. So let's see how light that is. That's not light enough. So let's probably just even go with white and then go over it with the yellow because I want it to have high contrast. <laughs> the highlights here. I made him green, but his wings are yellow. Well, go back over the yellow with green, Connie. Go back over the green with the yellow. Message me a picture. I'll let I'll look at it. I mean, not right now, but I mean, like, later. I'll look at it, okay? All right, so, like, right here, I'm going over this white with yellow. And it looks a little too yellow. So, I'll go back over it again with orange. Now, granted, I'm not trying to be gentle, gentle here with my layers. you got to be gentle with your layers if you want lots of layering. So now I'm going to go back over the yellow with the orange and knock it back just a little. Just so it's not that as bright. Well, it doesn't look terrible. Did orange for the shadows on the yellow wings. You might even need darker though. See, like I'm using brown for orange, and that's not even really. If I was doing a color book page, I'd even go darker. Which color is that? That's my cherry. I'd probably even go darker. The dark brown. That's why my dark brown. But you know, it takes time to blend all that. I'm not really trying to doing blending and coloring today. I'm trying to do ideas. So even this, if I was going to do this in a color book page, this is dark brown. Can you see the difference just adding the dark brown? Oops, kind of got a little crazy with the line there. And even go darker. Say. You 
you can't be afraid to go really, really dark and really light. Because that's what makes it look like really cool, I think. I mean, you can color it however you want. It's not a rule. <laughs> Let's do the shadows here a little darker. Thanks, Terry. Okay. Let's go with a little bit. All right, so now where I did white on his um, scales, I'm going to go back over the white Posca with my lime green pencil. And you probably can't see that because I'm so zoomed in. I can't really pick this up because it's so big. <clears throat> I'll zoom in in a minute. So maybe a little bit more light right in here. do his wings <clears throat> hey Rebecca we're just doing some society idea collector ideas <laughs> for Halloween the actual homework is exploring holidays, making your list of holidays and asking the questions on the holidays is the actual, like, if you want to do homework about it. But in this case, we're taking those ideas or that holiday of Halloween and playing with it. And I'm going to make some stickers out of him. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. All right. A little white there. I don't want because I'm going to turn them into a sticker. I don't want like lines right up next. I mean, I'm going to cut them out real close to the body, but whoops. All right, now his wings. So we'll go with where's my lavender here? Go with lavender. You like this little creature? <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to go in here and all the places that I left to highlight. Now I'm going to go in those places with my lavender highlighting the wings. Sharpening. Is 
thought we need to let me erase some more of this. My white sketch lines. Sharpening. <laughs> Hello, good morning. You need to tell us who you are. Stickles would be probably kind of cool on the maybe a little twinkle on the wings. But because I want to photograph it and turn it into a sticker, then I don't really want to put stickles on it because that might detract from the photo. So, like that. And now I'm just going to kind of go in here on the tops. too much I can always go back in with the dark purple I just want a little bit of like something something on the wings here something like that I think that's good the wings look neon, the veins, yeah, <laughs> thanks. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and zoom in just so y'all can see a little better. Because I can't move, this is this scroll is rolling down on my, I mean, it's on the floor, right? So see, let's go over this way. Let's refocus. If I can adjust the light, hang on. There we go. Let's see if we can zoom in on his little eyeball. <laughs> it fuzzes out, you know, it, it, it fuzzes out when I get this close in, but just so y'all can see. And normally I would probably put um, a shadow under his feet, you know, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to cut him out and make him a sticker. So I'm not going to put any shadows underneath of him. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, you like his smile? Okay, so let's go ahead. And if I get time to turn them into stickers, I'll give that away. Or if I don't give do that, I'll do, um, you know, something else for the giveaway. So, and you don't have to be here to be in the Society of Idea Collectors giveaway because I pick it out of the bowl. So, there's, if this is a deep bowl, I mean, I can't tell you how many. There's a lot more in there than it looks on camera. Okay. And once you win, I take your name out. And I put it in the book so that if we start all over again, I'll put your name back in. All right, so I'm not going to look. I'm just going to go down in here and pick out two names here. Okay, so the first one is Melody G. I don't know if Melody's still here, but Melody. And I'm going to do another one. I'm going to pick down from the bottom. And Button. So you two will get whatever I decide to make for this giveaway. If it's stickers. <laughs> okay, so Button and Melody. Where's my post-its here? Let me tape y'all to this. To a post-it so that... All is. Okay, so y'all two... <clears throat> Let 
Yeah, Melody and Button, y'all are today's society winners. Okay, so let's see. You should see my desk. It's horrendous. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut him off here and then scroll back up so we can do some more, uh, another creature. And y'all can help me pick, y'all can help me pick uh, some numbers and we'll do a random something off the list. All right, where's my scissors? Ah, oh, here we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut him down off the scroll. it down a little bit on this side too, just to make it a little, little a little bit easier for me to because I'm going to take a picture of them and try to turn them into a, a uh, sticker I wonder if I should highlight the wings maybe or is it kind of da dark and kind of a creep if I get too much white on it it's not it's going to take away the the creep factor <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, so there's that one. All right, I'm going to move him to the side and get the scroll and roll it back up here for, tuck it under everything. Got my ink thing here. Got my big heavy book. Let's move my pencil sharpener, my post-it notes. I have to make room. So let's see what we can design, the next thing we can design. Let me, Moving all these pencils out of the way because I have no space. Where am I putting this paint? Over there. Okay, so let's move the pencils over there. Okay, so again, if you're just joining us, what we started with, the Society Idea Collector today is on holidays. So we started with, you start with the list of holidays. And again, it can be special days. It can be birthdays. It can be a graduation. It can be anything meaningful to you. Keep a list of that in your whatever book you want to put it in or however you're keeping. Um, look in. You, um, you, won a, uh, you won the drawing melody, you and Button. The Society Idea Collector. So if I turn my turtle into a sticker or whatever I decide to do, I'll send you and Button something for the Society from the Society Idea Collectors. You and Button's names were drawn. Okay, so, like for instance, here's some of the ones I, I just wrote down. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Easter, Hanukkah, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Veterans Day, Columbus Day, Memorial Day, Martin Luther King Day, July 4th, Independence Day, and you can continue on, okay? I stopped because I, I knew I was going to do Halloween. And, uh, okay, so Halloween, you start with the holiday, and then just write out anything that comes to your mind when you think of Halloween. It could be a costume you had as a kid, you know, fairy princess wings come to your mind, whatever, you know. But here's some of the things that I wrote out for Halloween, and the girls pitched in a couple extras. Dark and scary, pumpkins, spider web, costumes. And then from costumes, I went down to vampire, mummy, Frankenstein, werewolf, skelly, bats, trick or treat. Then from there it went to candy, and then you can break that out to, you know, candy corn, you know, or whatever kind of candy. Ghost, graveyard, coffin, day of the dead, haunted house, black cat, witch. And then some of the colors I wrote down were orange, black, green, and purple. <clears throat> so from that, well, not from this particular list, because I already had this in mind when I was going to do it. I had picked out a turtle that's a vampire with bat wings. <laughs> so I did a couple different ones. A pumpkin. Here's a frog with a pumpkin and, and fangs. So they have little fangs. So from this little sketch, we went to this. <laughs> and uh yeah so from that and i might go around them in white because if i'm going to make a sticker out of it it might be better to have white than brown i'll try it both ways okay so this was a little sketch 
based on Halloween, turtle, bat, and, and you know, anyway. So these are some of the other drawings in my book here. All right, so now what I want to do, I can move this out of the way. And we can, go, oh no, I need this because I've got my other list in here. Hang on, the numbered list. Hang on, where's my numbered list? Okay, there's more. Okay, so I have, I numbered, I numbered all my things that I have in here. I just took some other random top objects and put them in here and in here. So I numbered them this morning so that I can tell y'all to give me a number between 1 and 300. So I have 300 things on this list and then I continued it over to this one. So uh, but among those two lists, I have 300 things. So what I want to do is I want to start with, we're going to start with Halloween. Let me just get a white pencil here so I can write. Where's my, let me, this needs to go in here. This is, closes this book up. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> we're going to kind of try to do this random. We'll see, you know, something may not occur to me or come to me. All right, so now I want to pick a couple other things here. So, and then we're going to pick two random things off the list of 300. Because I want it to be Halloween. So we could do vampire. How about mummy? How about we do a mummy? And what else? <clears throat> spider web? Spider and spider web? <coughs> spider and or web. We'll see what other things. Okay, so uh, button. Give me two numbers between 1 and 300. Two numbers between 1 and 300. 1031 for this Halloween. 1031. Hey, Kmore. Okay, good to see you, though. So, from our list, we're going to pick random things. And then i got to go get some coffee. My throat's really uh, burning. I need to get something to drink. Some juice, some coffee, something. <clears throat> I've been trying to keep these shorter, but this one's kind of going into the Society Idea Collector show and a project, right? So it's going to be longer. You know, we're going, I'm just continuing this right on, you know. So did button leave? Button one and left? No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure she's still here. <laughs> Is she still here? <laughs> She's still here. Is she still around? Button, give me two numbers between 1 and 300. <clears throat> if she's not, I'll get somebody else to do it. Because I want to pick some random things from my lists over here. You're getting your own tree. Okay, give me two numbers, Button, between 1 and 300. Grace, we're doing the Society Idea Collectors, and I can't really talk about everything we've done because we've been here an hour and a half. So I'm recording, so you can watch the video. Oh, well, hello, Jennifer Junker. Good to see you. Between 1 and 300. So I can take the 133, but give me another number. The other one went... <laughs> Okay, 258. Okay, 258. Okay, so let's see what those are. Let's see what they are. Okay, 133 tattoos. <laughs> 133 is tattoos. And 258, it'll be on the other list here. 258 is a squirrel. <laughs> okay. So we have to have a squirrel that's a mummy with tattoos and spider webs. <laughs> oh, fun. All right, let me move this big mama jamba off the desk. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let me move my scroll up just a little here. All right, let me look up a squirrel. <laughs> that's going to be fun. All right, let's see. All right, let me find a squirrel here. Uh. 
<laughs> See how fun? Well, I don't know if it'll be a piece of cake, but it'll be fun. <laughs> Okay, so squirrels, let's see. I kind of want one looking at us because he's going to be like wrapped up like a mummy. Let's see if I can get one facing us. And then, let's see, maybe that one. Or maybe that one. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that one, actually. Let's go with this. Um, let's see if I can get some similar ones. Uh, similar ones facing me like looking straight at us um that one's pretty good but i can't really well i'm not guess i don't really need to see its feet too much let's see let's see them a little bit let's go with that one and what else oh there's a good one i found one we'll go with this one Let's, well, between those, whoops, I'm going to turn my, hang on. Come on, come back on. What did I do? There we go. <clears throat> okay. Looking and standing. <laughs> yeah, oh wait, yeah, he's going to be standing on his hind legs. Wait a minute, hang on, go to my pictures now. So now let's go back to my pictures. I saved a couple. I saved a couple squirrels. All right, let's see. Okay, so I got, you know, this much space. I'm trying to keep it in camera. All right, so let's go with, let's see, I'm trying to stay in camera. All right. Right, so let's draw a little squirrel here. Okay, eye over here and a big eye here. Okay. So there's a little face. Now, I'll probably have a little claw coming out here, like a little hand, holding an acorn. Let's do a little acorn, capped acorn thing. Maybe his other hand. Do I want both hands out or just one? Let's see. So, one little hand here holding an acorn, or yeah. I'll try to zoom in after I get him sketched. All right, so then maybe he'll have like one leg showing, because you'll see what I'm going to do here in a minute. And his tail, okay, his tail can come out around here. And then one leg out here, little claws, okay. And then his body, oh, that's a little fat. Let's go this way here. Okay, something like this for the little squirrel and his little claw, his little hands right there. But what I'm going to do, see it comes out a little bit more like that. What he's going to do is he's going to be wrapped up like a mummy, okay? And then... So let's see. Let me go ahead and just kind of base coat him in. Well, no, I think I want to go ahead and do the... Yeah, I guess I have to. All right, let me go ahead and get some brown and some gray. Let me get another thing here. I'm going to need brown and gray. That's kind of a taupe color. That might be good. Kind of a taupe color. Okay, brown taupe dark gray where's my gray or i can just make some white and black here Here's some i'm gonna need a lot of white okay so those three colors all right so we're gonna start with this <laughs> oh well wait a minute guys wait for it wait for it let me get my brush back here all right so now i'm just gonna block them in a little bit here so let me make a little bit of gray for the tail now, a lot of this is not going to show because he's going to be wrapped in bandages. 
Okay, so so behind him here, it's going to be kind of dark. You'll see. He's but he's got to have. A, I've got a base coat. It now. Let's do lighter. <clears throat> Oops. It looks blue on camera, but it's really gray. I just looked up at the screen. It looks very blue. <laughs> All right. going to block him in. Go with the little taupe, a little of the brown here. See in a color. I know I'm kind of far away. I could probably zoom in a little bit. He's not as big as the, let's see. Yeah, it does look like Payne's gray. All right, so a little bit of black. Who knows? are going to be right in there. So I don't want to cover that up. Okay, back to the lighter gray color. So I have to have his skin darken, or his fur dark enough that when the bandages are around him, you're still going to be able to see has some fur underneath. We need browner. So I'm not really concerned about getting this too exact, you know, because he's going to be covered up. Need a little bit more gray right in there. We'll get the details more after he's wrapped. <laughs> Whoops, messed up his little eye. I don't know how to draw a squirrel with a trend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we're just playing here, guys. Okay, so here's his little foot here. And this one's coming forward at us. Okay, now let's see his little, let's do a little brown hand. And then a little sienna. And I'll get in there with pencil, but you know, the little uh, acorn. And 
and the little acorn cats. I don't want to lose that when we do the, we'll have the little acorn in his hand. All right, now let me dry this. Okay. <laughs> Is this fun? <laughs> I don't know, Grace. <laughs> Let me do a little bit on his eyes here. His eyes less showing. Where's my white pencil? Here it is. The size too big on that side, but. Maybe he's being squished because he's going to be a mummy. So. <laughs> it's a weird little face. Okay, wait. I know what I need to do. Where's my... Well, I don't know where my little electric eraser went. odd little thing, isn't he? Uh, the tattoo's going to be on the bandages. Yeah. Hang on, guys. Wait a minute. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, my gosh. No patience. Patience, grasshopper. I'm doing it as fast. I'm pedaling as fast as I can. <laughs> I'm just kind of doing this because you're not going to see much of him. And then there's where the acorn's going to be. Let me make his little claws so you can kind of see those. Okay, I think I have enough. Maybe a little gray. Let's see. needs to be a little darker. I might mess it up with the... Um with the bandages, we don't know yet. <laughs> All right, let's move this slide off here. Okay, now, <laughs> let me move my paper again. All right, let me get a bigger brush. A little bit flat, wide brush. Let's see. Um, here we go. All right, so. Oh, so this is a society of nuts. It is. 
It's fine. Okay. So now I'm going to take, let me, I think it's dry. Okay. So I'm going to get just no water in my brush. I mean, no water in the paint. All right. Now I got to kind of see. Let me look up a mummy. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Because I want to kind of get the idea of the wraps. <laughs> Hang on. Let me look up a mummy. All right. Let's see. Mummy. Ooh, some of them are creepy. I don't want a creepy one. Ooh, these are some nasty looking mummies. Ah, uh, here's just kind of a cartoony looking one. Okay, there we go. We're going to go with something that simple. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens now because this is there's only one shot at this, right? Okay, so his arm's going to be wrapped this way. <laughs> and we will see. <laughs> Y'all are laughing at me, aren't you? <laughs> So then around his arm here, let's do a couple wraps here. And then around his body. Because he's holding the acorn. I, I want the acorn to show, right? And then around his tail, I'm just going to have a few. Like I still want his tail kind of sticking out. And then maybe part of the, you know, cloth coming apart. Let's go around the tail a little more. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is funny. <laughs> So then around the legs here, and just his little feet are sticking out. <laughs> it looks like, he, you know what he looks like? He doesn't look like a mummy. He got in the toilet paper roll. <laughs> in actuality, the squirrel is not a, he's not a mummy. Stop laughing because really. <laughs> okay, so there we go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> See how much fun we have when we don't, we don't plan it. Okay, now, he's got to have a tattoo. He's going to have a tattoo on his tail. So, all right. Let's move the glass. Let's dry him. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay I do need to do a little bit more okay I got to get a little bit of gr I need a little bit of shadow here we need a little bit of, in the roll there you know got to be have a little shadow in the roll and then maybe uh, just a little bit of a gray shadow on the side there here <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'll probably cut them out too, but anyway. Oops, that's a little black. Oh well. Because we've got to do a spider web still, too. And you know how I don't know how to do a spider web, right? We'll do that over on this side. Okay, so now let me do his little acorn here. Hang on, let me find my browns. The little, um, circles. Let's fix his little claws. Oh my goodness. make some nice exaggerated Halloween claws, you know. <laughs> oh, I miss what Eileen said. Skull and crossbones. Oh, a skull and crossbones um, uh, tattoo. All right, let me look up a picture. Let's see. I gotta go get some of the drink. So let's move up there. It wants to slide because I'm still attached to it. Okay, so if we do, let's just do kind of a cute, maybe, um, all right, let me get my black marker here. Let's see. Okay. Well, now I gotta move over this way. Okay, so let's see if I can draw this freehand.
because I still want it to look like a tattoo, so I want it kind of a black outline on it, you know. Might have to paint it. This pins. There it goes. I think I picked up the black paint. Let me dry it. How's that? <laughs> okay. I need them a little bit more white. Let me dry. And you gotta realize this would be pretty hard to tattoo a squirrel's furry tail, but whatever. pen. All right, now spider wet. Oh, I better look that up because y'all know I don't know how to draw. <laughs> I always mess up spider web. Okay, spider web. <sighs> I need I need another Posca. That one's not going to play nice. Let me find another one. I got one in my box over here. I need something to drink. Oh, here it will. Either a Posca or a Sharpie, either one. Pin. Let's see which one's working. Use them so much that so I never know which ones are working and which ones aren't. <gasps> uh -oh. Oh, it's just my scissors. I thought I sent my coffee cup flying. I know one of these have got to work. I'm going to find one that works yet. All right, we'll tr try this one. Okay, let me move my folder. Spider web. Jean just waking up. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a good one right there. All right. So now what I want to do is I just kind of want to connect them to a spider web, right? Like maybe over here. Should just do it with paint. Okay, I'm gonna have to bust me open a new Posca. Hang on, guys. I can't seem to find one that works. Oh, let me find find a new one here. Hang on, let me bust open a new one. Because <laughs> I can't find one that works. And we'll put a spider in there too. Okay, there we go.
something like that. <laughs> and it's attached to his little mummy bits there. And then let's make it real creepy here. Let's make let's make a spider on the toilet paper roll. How's that? Let me cut him down. Hang on. go what do y'all think <laughs> oh, he looks like he's floating I gave him the shadow makes him look like he's floating <laughs> maybe I need his foot hang on I think I need his foot in the spider web Like that. Okay, there we go. What do y'all think? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. That was too fun. Let's make this a little thicker, a little brighter. Now, whoa, Susanna spider was bigger than that. Okay, so we did that, and we did we did our um, our little uh, vampire pumpkin turtle. I love this one though. <laughs> What did Kimberly say? Is it the size of a dinner plate? Yeah, that you could um, fishtail braid the fur. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you know what? Maybe we need some eyes on it. There we go. Now, now we got a couple real creepy spiders. There we go. I did get these. I did get me a... That would be a good photo right there, right? <laughs> and I did have a bat, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my twinkly bat and spider. <laughs> oh, so anyway, guys. I don't know if that looks like a tail. Maybe we need a little bit more. Um, let's make it a little furrier. Let's just make his tail... Oh, you know, have a little bit more, you know, fuzz to it. Let it almost get white in there. Okay, Charmin needs to be calling me for a sponsor. <laughs> okay. 
okay so there we go guys i think that's that's pretty good there <laughs> uh, i know carrie would love this wouldn't she maybe i'll tweet it to her i'll tweet this to her okay so all right guys well i guess i could just go ahead and go i think oh wait a minute where's my i think i got paint on my shirt let me get my baby wipe here and scrub that off a little i don't know if it's going to come off i try to wear old clothes when i'm here but this today i wore a, my t-shirts oh well ain't coming off <laughs> yeah i'll tweet it to her okay guys well i'm gonna go ahead and head out we've been here a couple hours it's only 11 but Janet comes on at 1. Jean comes on at 4, last I heard. So I think I'm going to call this a day, if y'all don't mind. Hubster um, is not coming home early because the the roof people aren't coming until next Monday. So, But I'll tweet these two pictures out for you guys. And I'm going to make stickers and button and melody. I'll do something for them. You had you had fun, okay, cat. All right, guys, you're welcome. Y'all have a great day. See you over at Janet's. This will give me time to get over to Janet's. So I'll take some pictures of these and tweet them for you. Okay, guys, have a good one. Bye.